Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a major, major big day for me. I have some very exciting news, but if you are new to my page, welcome back. This is Ramadan vlog three. And if you are new to my page, make sure you subscribe and join the family, but let's get ready. Nothing like some crisp, clean brushes. I have 45 minutes to get ready for one of the biggest events of my life. Like, when do I begin? First off, I want to start off by saying this is not a sponsored video, but yeah, I'm so nervous about this. I don't have the words to explain it. I'm sort of feeling like a little bit of an outer body experience. You're probably wondering, okay, get on with it. What are you doing? If you follow me on social media, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I had an event that I mentioned that was happening. Today is the day. I am having hosting an event with Joe Malone at Harrods talking about all things fragrance, Eid gifting. For those of you who managed to get tickets and are coming, I'm so excited to I'm so, I'm so excited to see you. Let's start off by saying every makeup look for an important event should start with some sort of mild exfoliator. This is the Ren Ready Steady Glow. It says that you could use this every day, but there's no way I'm using that every day. My skin would hate me. I'm going to be shaving my face. I like to go in with like snail mucin or some sort of glycerin liquid essence. Oh my god, I only have 30 minutes. I haven't even started. I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath foundation. It's quite lightweight, and I've been wearing this all week. Did you just, can you not see the difference of like skincare before makeup? It just makes such a big difference. Like my skin is way better than it was a few minutes ago. So, this is the makeup look I'm sticking with today. Um, I'm gonna be doing a red lip. This one, this one right here, but I'm not gonna put it on yet because I don't want it to flake on me. I want it to be nice and crisp as soon as I get there. So I'm taking this with me and I'm gonna be putting on some brown eyeliner or maybe black, I'm not sure. I wanna kinda go with like a sultry, Middle Eastern eye sort of vibe. But yeah, I kinda get dressed. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the prayer gown and the trench coat that I was thinking about and then the orange dress and then we can just see what works. This is the first dress I'm thinking about. Let me just get a scarf. Okay, this clearly needs ironing. <laughs> okay, so this is look one. 
Is it giving me, is it giving like Mother of the, the Bride vibe? This is a pretty safe option. I think this is what I'm gonna be wearing. I think I am gonna wear this. I also have a chocolate brown bodysuit, but I kind of like the contrast. What do you guys think? This is what I'm wearing. This is what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna accessorize a little bit. And yeah, but I love it. Okay guys, I have a very simple but delicious baklava recipe that will shock all your guests. It will have them saying, wow, you made this? Like, and it's actually so easy. Okay, screen grab for the recipe. Right, so what you're gonna do is take your phyllo pastry and you're gonna wanna cut it to the size of your baking tray. That's the key. Um, make sure that the baking tray is covered with melted butter on the bottom of it and you've basically build it like a lasagna okay uh now i took some i took a square size baking tray and i cut up my phyllo pastries and i layered the bottom with butter applied my layer of phyllo pastry then you go in with the nuts now the next nuts mixture is well i like to have a variety of textures so i like it chopped fine mixed in with like little bits of chunky nut pieces so when i crunch into the baklava i can feel like i can taste it the finely milled nuts mixed in with the chunky nuts mixed in with the cinnamon oh it's just delicious right so and you're gonna add your cinnamon you're gonna add your sugar and this nut mixture is pretty much gonna be the main star of the event once you apply a liberal layer of that you're gonna go in with some more phyllo pastry and just build um add some butter on top of that and then you're going to want to make sure you score the top of this why so that way once it's cooked you can drizzle your simple syrup mixture onto the baklava let it sit now this actually tastes better the longer it sits so if you have the, if you make this like two days in advance or a day in advance it's, it's perfect hope you enjoy this guys it's so easy so simple and delicious scrap the two full outfits i just showed you i'm wearing this i'm wearing my three in one prayer gown it's all built in and a blazer coat this is my look for today <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so excited you guys we're using maran tonka today obviously my hair is it's never too much i can't wait to see you guys okay i gotta go but i'll see you guys there i'm gonna be vlogging by the way so don't worry is so unique like the story of like you go at night or they, it takes like seven how many you have they did um, like a head a, a, a sort of well jar isn't it they take a reading of the of the molecules yeah. it took them quite a few years because they they didn't like the absolute when you do like the up salt extraction so they wanted to create it like that scent in situ on a night time when yeah. it kind of when you breathe it in on a bit like a, a, a night time stroll and it, yeah. it was yeah you're right it's one of the most stunning experiments as well like it's no, still there. And again, yeah, it's a nice fresh one. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, we need to try that. Oh, I've never tried that. It should be two months and two days. Oh, oh my God. God. This is <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching this vlog. A special thank you to everyone who has made it out here for my Joe Malone event. I am so, so glad I met you. I'll see you next week. I upload my vlogs twice a week, every Sunday and Wednesdays, hopefully. But yes, I'm Adam Mubarak, and I'll see you next week. Mwah.